Hello, good afternoon, um, happy Sunday. This is uh, Kevin here showing you another video on how to upgrade your computer from, from whatever operating system you have to Windows 7, how to upgrade it to Windows 8, and what are the hardware requirements in order for you to upgrade it from any of those upgrades you're trying to do. Same thing for Mac, I'm going to talk about how to upgrade your um, Mac OS X to El Capitan. So, the agenda for today is requirements to install OS and Mac OS X. When we're going to talk about Windows 7, what are the hardware requirements for Windows 7? We're going to actually install Windows 7 on the virtual machine today. Um, we're also going to talk about Windows 8, and we're going to install Windows 8 on the virtual machine. And then last but not least, we're going to talk about Mac OS X El Capitan. So for Windows 7, you need to have 1 gigahertz on a 32-bit or a 64-bit processor. You have to. You also have to have um, 1 gig of RAM on a 32-bit and 2 gigs of RAM on a 64-bit and 16 gigs of available hard space, hard drive space on a 32-bit and a 20 gig hard drive space on a 64-bit. You also have to have DirectX 9. And if you don't know if you can upgrade your computer, I recommend you use this. This is called Windows 7 Advisor. So let me open this. Let me actually open this up real quick. So Windows 7 Advisor is a software program you can install on your computer. And basically it gives you advice if you're if you're able to upgrade from your current operating system to Windows 7. You could download it and you can run it and it will tell you right away if you can upgrade your operating system. So now that we know what we need, we're actually going to install Windows 7 on a virtual machine. So you would have to create a partition for the operating system. Make sure you have a computer, make sure you have a computer or a laptop that you can upgrade. If you have a computer that has Vista or something like that, make sure you can upgrade it to Windows 7 and make sure it has the hardware requirements for that. If you're upgrading something, make sure you back up all the files for it because nobody wants to lose their data. So make sure you upgrade everything and back up the files. Make sure you back up. Backup is very important. So we're going to actually install Windows 7 on the VM, our virtual machine. So I'm going to open up my Windows 7 virtual machine, virtual box, and Windows 7 is loading. Starting Windows 7, let me close this out, close that out. All right. So here we go. You have your language, you have your time and currency format, you have your keyboard input methods. Click next, and with the Windows 7 CD, you can actually repair your computer. So I'm going to install it now. Setup is starting. Give it a minute. So you have to agree to the terms of installing Windows 7. You click next. You can either upgrade a, a current operating system like X, like XP or Vista that you have on your current computer, or you can customize it. So I'm going to click customize. And in here, you could delete whatever partitions you have on the hard drive. For this, I don't have any partitions or anything. I won't create anything new either. So I'm just going to install it right away on this one particular hard drive. Click Next. It's going to install everything. So that's how you install it on Windows 7. Now going back to the PowerPoint, I'm going to go over Windows 8 now. So for Windows 8, you need 1 gigahertz on a 64 32 bit you need to have 1 gig of ram to 2 gigs of ram on a 32 bit to 64 bit you need to have a hard hard disk space of 16 gigs of hard drive space on a 32 bit and 20 gigs of space on a 64 bit and you have to have a graphics card of DirectX 9 just like Windows 7 Windows 8 has an advisor so basically you have the opportunity or the capability to see if you're able to upgrade to Windows 8. And it's the same thing. See? Download Windows 8.1 upgrade assistance or download Windows 8 upgrade assistance. So it will tell you if you can upgrade your computer from 7 to 8 or Vista or XP. See? It's right here. So now that we looked at that, it's the same thing. How to install Windows 8? You have to create a partition on your, op on your operating system OS. You have to make sure your computer or laptop you're trying to upgrade, it's able to do it. 
it has a hard drive requirements um hardware requirements excuse me you have to make sure you back up all your files if you're upgrading a new system or a current system from Vista to 8 or XP to 8 so I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna up and up Windows it says 8.1 but this one has 8 so I'm gonna upgrade it to win I'm gonna put Windows 8 now on a virtual machine give me a second all right so you could see that I have Windows 8 running over here so you click next install now setup is starting <laughs> you agree to the terms I'm going to do a clean install. I'm going to click next. It's the same setup. See? And that's how you install it and when that's how you install Windows 8 on your computer. So back to the presentation. So for um Mac OS X El Capitan, the requirements for Mac, you have to have a OS X 10.6.8 or later. You have to have 2 gigs of RAM. You have to have 8.8 .8 gigs of available storage. So 10.6.8 is actually Snow Leopard. I have a copy right here of that particular CD. Let me grab it and show you. So if you have Snow Leopard, then you should be able to upgrade your computer. But also keep in mind that it has to have the it has to have uh, the correct year. So what I mean by that, I'm going to show you right now is Mac you have a MacBook, you have MacBook Late, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac Mini, iMac, Mac Pro, and XServe. So it has to be a certain date or a certain year in order for you to upgrade, otherwise it doesn't work. So MacBook early 2015 could go to El Capitan. MacBook late 2008 aluminum could go to El Capitan and early 2009 could go to El Capitan. You have MacBook Pro late mid 2007 can go to El Capitan. You have MacBook Air, could go to El Capitan as well. It has to be late 2008. Mac Mini has to be early 2009. iMac has to be mid 2007. Mac Pro, early 2008. And XServe, early 2009. So I'm going to actually show you pictures of how they look like or what they are. So here is a Mac early 2015. Here's a MacBook late 2008. Here is a MacBook Pro 2007. Here is a MacBook Air 2008. Here is a Mac Mini early 2009. Here is an iMac mid 2007. Here is a Mac Pro early 2008. And here is an XServe early 2009. So that concludes my presentation. I hope you um, learned something from it or you got something out of it. For anyone that's Apple trying to get the ACMT, you should know how to upgrade your computer from El Capitan. You should understand how to upgrade it. So for anyone watching this or anyone that has is trying to get CompTIA, you should know how to upgrade to Windows 7 or, or 8 and what are the hardware requirements for it and things like that. So in any case, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Hope you have a good Sunday and have a good day. Take care. Peace.